Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Pavin. I'm an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. <sighs> Episode six, I was a big fan, loving Grandpa Ukai and his insights and the way that he kind of took Hinata under his wing and taught him about the different tempos. Um, and then like young Ukai getting inspired and going crazy <laughs> to teach um, Kageyama the same thing so that they could run a variety of sets together. And just like seeing all the players like taking little pieces from all the good athletes they've been competing against and trying to implement them into their own game, my heart loved it. Um, I thought it was amazing. Also, I know I mentioned it last time, I definitely overestimated like the level of where the Karasuno boys were at because I thought they knew that. I thought they knew this stuff already. I was wrong. So I think we're gonna see some huge developments right now with Hinata and Kageyama's connection um, offensively. And I think with like Asahi and Noya and everybody like adding different pieces together too, the team is gonna grow. So this next trip to Tokyo, I think is gonna be and I'm hoping is gonna be much improved from the first set of exhibition matches. My one question mark is Suki. He was the only one that wasn't really doing extra practice or working on anything. So I'm thinking we are going to get Suki's backstory soon. I hope, like he really intrigues me. So I really hope we get his backstory soon. But we are continuing along this character development arc, I think. Um, so today we are watching season two, episode seven of Haikyuu called Moonrise. And if my memory serves me correctly, Moon is associated with Kageyama, right? So I feel like it's gonna be tied together. I hope I'm right. Okay. Season two, episode seven, coming at you right now. Okay, here we go. Didn't they go over this? Oh, Hinata wasn't there last time when they were talking about it. Okay, they're obsessed with this Tokyo Tower. We've been over this. It's a transmission tower. It happened in what, episode two? Three, something like that. Also, how far is Miyagi from Tokyo, the Tokyo area? Because why the heck did they have to leave in the middle of the night to get there super early in the morning? Just a couple logistical questions. <laughs> Ah. So they're not in a coma now, they're at Shinzen, right? Let's work on the timing. Oh. 
見たどうした影山らしくねえなすいませんくそ姿勢は感覚が違う<笑>びっくりしたかお前が一番わかるだろう影山のトスが前とは全然違うことだほら They're gonna figure it out. Oh, athletic move. <gasps> They're realizing that each other is human. No, I love this. I love this. You guys, you guys, oh my gosh, I've had the biggest grin on my face for like the last three minutes. Yes, this is what I was talking about at the beginning of the episode. <sighs> Nekomata and me together are like mastermind. I'm oh, just kidding. Um, exactly what Nekomata said is what I was thinking. And it's like, it's true when you're trying to implement new things and you're trying to improve and learn new skills, no matter whether you're in high school or even when you're my age and like at my experience level, things get worse before they get better. It's a part of improvement. And that's why you often see like little graphs of improvement with like up, down, up, down. But like the constant path is going like this. This is what we're looking for. There will be little squiggles of ups and downs along the way, but the general trend is heading in the right direction. And this is what we're seeing. They are evolving, they are changing, they're all trying to implement new things, minus Suki. And right now they suck. And it's great because I know that once they figure it out, they're gonna be so good. And he nailed what I was saying as he took the best parts from all of their opponents and they're trying to implement them. And now I wanna learn more about Suki because even Nekomata noticed that he is the only one who is not changing. I can't even breathe. This is great. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah.
오. 見事全般必殺技だったよなこんなに合唱したのは鵜飼監督がいた時以来っすちょっと I love this. I'm so excited. What is going on with him? I think he's insecure about something. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> ブロックなしてスパイク練習してもだよ。あの I would listen to him. Okay. Perfect. Yachi. Oh my gosh, Yachi. She just like, she's getting there. She knows. Oh. Oh, love. Drop your left hand. He's going to learn. He's going to drop his hand. He's gonna learn. Oh, he's gonna learn from Kuro. Hmm. Oh, 
元の才能が違いますからねおおあまたスパイク練習ですか俺ブロックやりますやりますおいリエーフ転がってんじゃねえレシーブゲッ役さんゲッてなんだほらじゃあ僕はお役ごめもやるんだ失礼しますいやなあおいなん,でなんか地雷踏んだんじゃないですか苦労さんえっおっれしてー大失敗じゃん挑発上手の苦労くんいやだって思わないだろう何をカラスノのチビちゃんは確かに得体が知れないし脅威だけど技術も経験もひよこだろうそれにあの身長だしそれをあの身長も頭脳も持ち合わせているメガネくんがチビちゃんを対等どころかかなわない存在として見てるなんてさくそサポーター忘れてきたもう一回もう一回ちょっとタイミング早すぎんじゃないですかああそうかじゃあ次ワンツーにも遅らせるわ行きますたかが分割だなんでそんなふうにやるんだそんなふうにやるからあとで苦しくなるんだろう、うんおーめん、there's a lot to unpack here. I don't know, did you guys read it as Suki thought that Hinata was above his level? Or, because I initially, when he spoke, read it as Suki thought that Hinata was way below him, and the difference in their abilities is too large because he's better. But then hearing them talk after, I think they understood it in reverse. So I'm curious about that. Um, because as far as like intelligence and reading the game and things like that, I mean, Suki's definitely at a higher level than Hinata is. But with like raw athleticism, Hinata is definitely gifted in that way. But I wonder if like, his thought of like, why would I put so much into that? Because then it's so much worse when you don't achieve it. I wonder what has like happened to him to make him think that. Um, it's like, maybe he's just such a perfectionist that he will only attempt and sh show that he cares about things that he knows he will succeed in. And to see he not a getting better and to see the team getting better. Maybe he's afraid that he won't be able to like measure up or keep up and that will be a failure. So maybe him acting like he doesn't care is his way of like protecting his heart and protecting his ego in case he doesn't get there. Just psychology 101 here, I don't know. <laughs> Daichi's gonna get mad. <laughs> They're gonna be very fit. I cannot wait for the moment that it clicks for them. It's gonna happen. Watermelon. <laughs> My gosh, look at them little cuties. He didn't even tell anybody. Otakuno Tsukishima 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 Tsukish
派手に暴れるのはひなたの役目そのひなたが公園に回ってる間極力無難にしのぐのが僕の役目、うん、いつものことじゃないですか、うん、それ関係あるかわかんないですけどうちの姉ちゃんがそういえばさあ合宿の試合の時名前聞こえたんだけど今のカラスモに月島ってやついる<笑>こういるメガネなクッソ生意気だよ可愛くねえんだよそんな月島ってやつさ見たいなえ知らねえよ自分の話とかするやつじゃねえし私がカラスモにいた時つまりダンバレが一番強かった時期な小さな巨人がいた頃そうその頃のバレー部に長身の月島って人がいた気がするんだよねえ月島の兄貴が<笑>でもわかんねえっすよ名字が同じだけの別人かもしんねえしおいそろそろ始まるぞよし Tell me everything あすいませんサーブいい感じになってきたなありがとうございます俺はもっと成功率上げないとなはずまれさんは嫌じゃないんですか何が下から強烈な才能が迫ってくる感じあまあ心は休まらないかなひなたは多分まだエースって肩書きにこだわってますよねそうだなだから今のままじゃダメだって言い出したのかなまあおかげで俺も他の連中も火がついた感じだ、うん、気をつけないとまた集中しすぎたひなたに噛みつかれますよスパイクに飛んだ時ぶつかったあれか俺と月島はポジションが役割的にひなたとライバル関係に近いからひよこみたいだったひなたが日に日に成長するのを人一倍感じるんだろうなでも俺は負けるつもりはないよもおまいガシャイブグースパンプスおまいガシャイブグースパンプスおまいガシャイブグースパンプスおまいガシャイブグースパンプスおまいガシャイブグースパンプスおまいガシャイブグースパンプスおまいガシャイブグースパンプスおま
So many things running through my mind. Number one, obsessed with Kyoko's little side pony. Love it, she always has her hair down. I like that she put it up. Um, two, I completely agree with Ukai. There are some players that are like more reserved, more quiet. They aren't like putting themselves out there in the way that Hinata does. But you can still tell if they're fully mentally engaged and focused and that they're giving 100% of their effort. If Tsukushima's not able to do that or doesn't want to do that, I completely agree he needs to be replaced on the court. That's not gonna help the team grow at all. He has so much potential. He could be the best blocker if he like commits to giving a maximal effort. So I completely agree with that. And number three, Asahi is no pushover, okay? He may have changed his hairdo, but he is still the ace of Karasuno and he wants to make sure he not and knows that. And I am all about it, okay? Nothing like some like inner team rivalry and competition to raise everybody's level. So when Hinata made that bold statement, which I'm still on the fence about, don't love it. Um, the fact that everybody else was like, okay, I gotta lift my level and raise my game too. And like, even Asahi's attitude of like, he is not taking this away from me. That is huge. And to see him call the ball, go for it, and to see Hinata back off. <sighs> Teams are complicated, people are complicated, but to see that things are starting to move in the right direction makes me so happy and gives me so much hope. And I think that this team is gonna be so good. What t-shirt is he wearing? Oh my gosh, that is a volleyball character. What's the answer? What would he say? <laughs> I need this backstory yesterday. Okay, this is like, <sighs> I keep thinking about this. What happened to him? What is going on? Maybe he thinks he can't measure up to his brother. Maybe his brother was really, really good and he doesn't think that he can measure up, so he's not trying. Maybe he's scared of success. Maybe, oh. I don't know. I don't know. But it breaks my heart because I have seen people like that. I've seen people who 
secretly love what they do, but they act like they don't because they're like, oh, their insecurities get in the way. If this backstory doesn't come soon, I'm gonna lose it. Um, but, oh, I love, love. Season two is just whew, taking off. Um, excellent. We're seeing the boys grow as individuals. We're seeing them grow as athletes. We're seeing that like they're taking some dips, but it's gonna help lift them higher. <sighs> oh, maybe I was wrong about the moon. Was it Tsukushima's name that meant moon? I know you guys probably commented already. I think I made a mistake. This one was about Tsukushima, it has to be. His name means moon. No. Anyways, hit me up. Hit me up in the comments. This episode gave me life, obviously. My heart was racing the whole time. I can't even breathe. Um, let me know about all the things that I was asking about and your take on this. Um, and as always, I would love it if you would like my video, subscribe to my channel, and yeah, we can keep hanging out, watching Haikyuu and talking about volleyball. See you next time, guys.